Hey, it's Zena, Warthog Princess. Here's another video for you. This one is something we haven't done. It is um, basically I'm gonna do my nails and we're gonna do it outside because it's a beautiful day. It's got the pool and the hot tub behind me. There's Kelly. Lucy's on the other side, just chilling out. Anyway, today we're doing Color Street. Um, I'm not selling it, I'm not advertising it. I'm just sharing because a lot of people have asked me about my nails. Well, 25, almost 25 years, I couldn't paint my nails really because the military you could do clear or whatever, but natural only. And then at the end, they changed the rules that you could do some colors, but now I'm free. I can do whatever crazy crap I want. So today is Wow in Macau. It's this pretty dark pink color. Well, I say dark. It's actually very bright and bold. Um, color Street comes either in a pack like this size or like this, but they're essentially the same. This comes with a nail file and it also comes with a little alcohol wipe so you just prep your nails you take the little alcohol wipe and you just you know wipe down your nails. I just got out of the shower so my hands are definitely clean I don't have long nails I have over time mostly had short nails but sometimes longer sometimes shorter anyways pretty average short so you're gonna need a couple tools you need the file they gave you the strips I use this little thing I don't know what it's called but you can see that little scoop end on it I know it's not very focused and then you it has a straight edge which sometimes is also useful but it's made by Revlon stainless steel anyway you can get it anywhere you can get your cosmetic stuff and then I use this one this one is Sally Hansen but you can get a lot of different ones but the point is that you get that soft wedge edge um, the other end is also a little nipper, so that's also very helpful for prepping your nails anyways. And then scissors. You can use it for a lot of things, but really you're going to use it to open the polish. You just cut it open. And then you got to use it to cut the strips in half. Because my nails are short enough, I can use them for more than one nail. So you take the plastic, set that aside, and you're only going to need one strip. It comes with two. So you can actually reseal that bag and save the rest for later. I know my nails, so I know that I need this one and these four. <laughs> but what you do is you take them and individually hold them against your nails. Let's just put these in order real quick. There we go. And you basically just say, okay, yeah, that'll fit the width of my nail. Um, don't worry about the length because you have the full length to use but so there do your thumbs last trust me lesson learned you'll see why in a moment when we start putting it on but it is so easy and I love that it's instantly dry um, it's almost foolproof almost all right so this fool is gonna show you how I do it here we go you take the little clear thing and you peel that off I just set it aside and now you're left with this nail I cut it in half it doesn't have to be perfect, just roughly in half. And I take the bottom half of that. What you're gonna do is peel the polish off, which is a little tricky now because you've removed the tab, but totally doable. Again, not a pro. <laughs> just a simple person doing simple things. Here we go. So this is my index finger, and you just basically line it up with the back edge and put it on if you don't get it right you can i don't know if you can see this you can just peel it carefully back off and reposition it which is great and that's why i said it's almost foolproof don't be afraid just get it on there once you get it where you want it then you just press it down it's just that easy so the tricky part which isn't really tricky at all is just then removing the excess so you want to get that pressed on nice and firmly and then I take that soft wedge edge and I push, can you see that? And I just kind of push it in on the sides to make sure that it's seated and tucked in. And on this side, you can see right here, there's a little bit of excess here. So I'm just gonna take that, it's not sharp, but sharper edge and carefully just press into that groove and kind of basically clip the polish off, which is so easy. Um, so you just kind of prep that there, kind of just perforating that edge of polish. And then this is why you leave your thumbs. Is you just take the end of it, can you see what I'm doing? And you just kind of press it over the end and 
basically clip it off with your thumbnail underneath the nail like that and then what's left to do is you just take that excess and peel it off now this last part is like your final step and that's where I use this little scoop edge tool and I put the curved edge towards my nail and then I just kind of carefully pull back the excess on the side there if there is any I mean if it doesn't tuck fully in that way I'm not taking any more polish than intended you just get that little stripe off the side check everything is seated I have one little corner up front so I'm just gonna pinch that off and voila Look at that, perfectly dry. It's, it's nice, it's easy, and it's done. That's one nail already. And if I talk less and polish more, it goes super fast just to get through the rest. So the second part, you have this tab. So what you can do next is take that little tab, just carefully pull it off and set it aside. Now you do the other nail, assuming that your nails are even left and right. Then you just do the same thing you just did and sometimes you just get it better aligned and you don't have excess on the sides as is the case on this one i think we'll see if it tucks in yeah so it tucks into that little groove between your skin and the nail make sure it's all flat against it hi kelly come here can you get up come on yep she's right here she wants this she's always so helpful hi baby yes i know it's sunshiny okay go <laughs> Lucy's behind the screen so you can't see her but anyway and look didn't even mess up my nail so it's all tucked I'm just gonna take my thumb and do the cutting maybe you can see better this time you'll see it a bunch of times because I got eight more nails to go but then you just peel that excess off make sure you're all smoothed down I have one little corner to finesse It's great it's not messy I mean you could do it with kids cuz it's dry right away you don't have to worry about it all right so two nails all done and dry I could go do whatever right now and I have 20 minutes because I'm going to the dog park so we're gonna go have some fun with their besties all right Class change. Yeah, there's a private school right behind my house, like right on the other side of that wall. It's quiet most of the time, but during the day like this, you can hear the little kids playing, and I guess that was the end of recess because it got quiet now. But anyway, little side story. It's a pleasant, quiet little community here. I don't know what the temperature is, but like I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> it's beautiful. Happy winter, Arizona. Whoopsie. I'll clean that up after so next nail we're just doing the same thing and it's okay if you don't get it quite up against your cuticle in fact if you have a bunch of cuticle definitely trim that first but it's better to air with more space back there so that you're not you know getting it stuck up on the skin because that will cause it to kind of peel up easier and it'll get caught in your hair and things like that and that's always a big nuisance so it's all tucked in on the sides. I'm not flipping you off, I swear. Um, but then you just take that end and pinch it down. Super easy. There is another way that you can do this step. You can use the file, and I'll show you on one of these fingers coming up, not the next one because I'm right-handed. You can, well here, I'll just show you right here. The other way to do it, see I have a little excess right here. What you can do is you can take the file and you're gonna wanna go in a downward motion so that you keep the top of the nail clean but there you go so I just you use the file to trim that excess you could just do that I prefer the thumb method because it's so much faster and actually for me it's more accurate so here comes number four number four of ten easy peasy now how and why color street you might wonder and just in case you are wondering i will tell you so i have this rare medical condition called cyclic vomiting syndrome and 
I went to a conference a couple years back. Oh gosh, it's 2020, so almost six years ago now. In June, it'll be six years ago. And I met this wonderful lady and her daughter has the same condition that I do. So we began to talking. Well, anyways, she's a great mama bear and her daughter really struggles with a bunch of issues, not just sick with vomiting. And she decided to start selling Color Street to help, you know, provide for her family, which I think is very noble. It's, there's more to the story. Um, I'll put a little bit of it down below, but if you're interested in Color Street and you wanna support a good person and a good cause, then um, feel free to buy from here. I put her link down below. Again, not selling anything. I'm just saying how I got into it and why. Um, I'm a sucker for a good cause and I will always support a friend. So I bought a crap ton of polish and I've just been having fun with it. So yeah, so I'm painting my nails nowadays and it's easy and fun and I'm experimenting with colors and styles and anyways. And so there you go. That's how I did it. Um, this one has a little bit of an excess and it's not tucking in. So I'm just gonna use my scoop end here and just carefully trim that edge. Because otherwise that'll be what catches and lifts and peels back the other part of the polish. So four down, six to go. Oh, one more little tip. So it's just that easy. I know some of you are probably like, click, I've already stopped watching. But for those that are curious, this is how you do it. Here we go. Sometimes I get that polish quick on the edge and sometimes it takes a minute. You don't have to have nails to get it off, I'll tell you that. Okay. You could see my concentration face a whole bunch. <laughs> Not pretty. The cool thing about these polishes is they're not that expensive. And for one set, you essentially get three times through. If you're using like this technique, we're using half and half. If your nails are short enough to do that, then there's enough of them to kind of work three, three different times doing your nails, which I think is pretty economical. So they're 11, 12, 13 dollars a pack, and you get three times out of it. So I, I'm not gonna do the math on regular polish, but compared to getting professional manicures, I know that is definitely more affordable. Um, not trying to sell anybody away from professional manicures. I get them myself now and then. It's kind of nice. But in this, I don't have to worry about any exposures, anything. And they sell them, usually it's buy three, get one free. So in case you are interested, that's a pretty decent deal. Um, my friend Jenny, Jenny's JJ's Jolly Nails, she also right now is having a special where she is also sending an extra set from her so you basically get five sets for the price of three I'm not buying any right now because I am pretty well stocked um, and I use my Vera to store it all which I'll show you at the end because you know I'm a Vera girl and it's fun keeps it all together so and I want to do my nails I just grab the pack and off I go you can go outside if you want enjoy the sunshine which hopefully is not washing out this video because it's beautiful out here. Okay. Ta-da! Six down. Yeah. So, pinky. And then thumbs. Thumbs are last because if you do them first, you're just basically messing them up the whole time as you tuck in. It is possible because I've screwed it up and done thumbs first, but not optimum so now I probably should use a little smaller one for my pinkies but for ease I just use the four this means I have to trim one side more often than not 
that's okay. So, let me push that in. Oh, you know what? I forgot to take the clear top off of this one. That is hard to do now that it's peeled. So, oops, guess what? Foolproof. So what you do, you can try and get that clear off. But rather than waste your time watching me struggle, I'll give it one quick try here, which that was the thinnest. So basically I just wasted one. But that's okay because I have these nifty spares all built in right over here. So here's the trick there. Don't forget to peel the clear layer first before you cut it because I'll be able to use that half, but once you cut it, you can't get that bottom half clear off. It's, it's tough. So here we go. We'll try it again with no clear on top. And perfect unintentional example of no big deal. So, hey Kelly, are you helping? Hi. Okay, here we go. Actually, it's a better fit anyway, so maybe that's not a bad thing. Some of the nail um, strips are different sizes, one end to the other, so like in this case, this one is slightly narrower on one end and wider on the other. That's why that fit a little better on this one. Never mind my dry skin all around. So I don't, oh. <laughs> Another example of why you take your time on that trimming edge. See, now look what I've done. I pulled that little corner a little too aggressively. I don't know if you can see. Right there, I pulled the corner off. So you can do what I'm going to do and just accept that little error that I have basically a chip out of that nail, just for time's sake. But what I can do is just peel this all back off and use that other piece, which Ah, it's not going to bother me enough to worry about because when I trim my nails in a couple days, I'll just trim that corner out. Okay. So since this one's already open, we'll use it. Pull the tab off. Do that pinky. Are you watching the water? Ooh. And you want to put it on and just let it kind of roll down, not stretch it at all when you're doing it because then it gets a little wonky and tougher to flatten out. Totally doable though. So trim that excess with my thumb. Push in the sides. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Smooth and tuck. One little corner, check. Ta da! 8 out of 10. And I don't know how long it's been, but oops, that's the wrong one. Thumbs, last. Same thing, cut it in half. I'm actually sweating, it's beautiful. For all you that are having snow today, ah, I like snow, but I kind of prefer this beautiful weather. Winters here are just right, which I suppose is why everybody snowbirds here. And now I'm just perforating the excess on the side. Now, realizing, of course, that the last nail to be done will require me to use, theoretically, my thumb that I just painted. 
which can definitely negate all the work you just did to get that polish perfect. So a couple things you can do to avoid that. One is just being very, very careful and not, you know, pressing up and in on that nail. But the other thing you can do, I'm trying to get an angle here. is use your file or and this is the one time where I really use that flat edge on my scoop tool oh boy I got that one on crooked there we go Ooh, and this one if I don't get it just right it's gonna be a little short so I'll do it better there we go so we will do a couple things. I will use this to get the edge perforated and prepped. Tuck the other side. Then I'm going to use this instead of my thumbnail. Do the same thing I did with my thumbnail and just use it to round the edge and push under until it clips that little piece. And then I just peel it off. Dun -dun. It's sticking to my skin because the way I peeled it. it. Just comes right off. No nail polish remover required. But when you go to take it off, like it's easy to re re apply it while you're doing it. It is dry, you know, whatever. But it once it sets, it's not just gonna peel off like that. It stays on like regular polish. So to get it off, you do have to use nail polish remover. Um, but it comes off just like regular polish. It doesn't have to be soaked or anything special. Um, but anyway, okay, so I have this one little corner to fix. And voila, complete. So, 10 nails, all done and ready to attack the day. Ta -da! So, thanks for watching. That's all for this one. Have a great day. See you next time. Can't reach.